Leah Thomas. Speaking of madness, this is a Penn transgender swimmer. Leah Thomas, Penn transgender swimmer, decided to talk to Good Morning America and ESPN and tell the story of swimming from a transgender perspective, said that male athletes deciding to become women are not a threat to women's athletics at all. That's a lie, okay? This is, uh, Buck did a good job talking about this on the show today. One of the reasons why OutKick is growing so rapidly is we just tell the truth. Masks don't work. That's the truth. A lot of people lied to you and told you the opposite and made your kids wear masks. Men who decide to identify as women have a huge competitive advantage because of testosterone. Men are bigger, stronger, and faster than women. Let me just give you a stat here. Let me take it outside of Leah Thomas. I think this is a a really interesting detail. The fastest woman in the history of mankind is Allison Felix. She's won more world championship sprinting medals in history than anybody. Her lifetime best in the 400 meters, the track and field race, was 49.26 seconds. In 2018, 275 high school boys ran faster than the fastest woman in the history of the world. Let me repeat that. 275 high school boys, these are 18 or under, in 2018 alone ran a faster time in the 400 meter than the fastest woman in the history of womankind, okay? That's because men are bigger, stronger, and faster. Even really young men, even boys under the age of 18, This is a real deal. And Leah Thomas trying to argue that trans athletes aren't a threat to women's athletics is a lie. Because Leah Thomas was not a good swimmer necessarily, certainly in high-end competition as a man. No chance to ever win an NCAA championship as a man. Becomes a woman, wins the 500 becomes the best women swimmer in the world of college athletics for that particular year. Never would have won a championship as a man. Becomes a woman and wins. And the New York Times had a front page story on this in the Sunday edition. Maybe somebody is finally slapping around the super woke New York Times and saying, hey, let's actually write some truth. These paragraphs I couldn't believe. Even nomenclature is contentious. Descriptive phrases. Listen to these descriptive phrases that are unacceptable. Biological man, biological women are unacceptable. Trans rights activists say expressions like these are transphobic and insist biology and gender are largely social constructs. Biology and gender are social constructs. Whether you have a penis or a vagina is a social construct. This is what these crazy people are arguing. I'm reading from the New York Times, Sunday edition. Some trans activists try to silence critics who may derisively call TERFs, T-E-R-F, which stands for trans-exclusionary radical feminist. I think Dave Chappelle talked about this. I guess I'm a TERF? I guess I'm a trans-exclusionary radical feminist for believing that women should compete against women and that men should compete against men and that the penis and vagina are real and that the difference between men and women And biology is real? A spokesman for a gay rights group urged a reporter, quote, not to platform, that is to quote, those she said held objectionable views, including Martina Navratilova, the retired tennis legend, a champion of liberal and lesbian causes. Miss Navratilova, a lot of you will remember her from tennis, 
argues transgender female athletes possess insurmountable biological advantages. I'm reading from the New York Times. By the way, she's right. So I'm a turf. Okay, that's the way you want to go, Miss Navratilova said. I played against taller women. I played against stronger women. And I beat them all. But if I faced the male equivalent of Leah in tennis, that's biology, I would have had no shot and I would have been livid. This is where we are. That's Martina Navratilova. Think about this for a minute. This is where we are right now. Where if you say biology is real, where if you say there is a difference between men's and wo- men and women biologically, where if you say, hey, the penis and the vagina are different and they aren't social contracts, that's biology. Where if you say men biologically are bigger, stronger, and faster than women, you are called a turf and you are not allowed to actually share your opinion. In fact, they would argue that you shouldn't even be allowed to be quoted and share your opinion in the New York Times. This is radical stuff. And people say, well, you're just exact, this is what they would say. This, you're just exaggerating. This is not that big of a deal. It's going to happen everywhere. And it's going to happen in every sport. This is where women's sports are headed. And people are going to have to make a decision. Are you on the side of women competing against women? Or do you believe that men should be able to become the greatest women's athlete of any sport? I believe women should compete against women. And by the way, for all the transgender activists out there, it's important to note that this only becomes an issue when men become women. Because when women become men, they are nowhere near talented enough to play at a high level and be able to compete for championships. It's only when men with the biological advantage of being bigger, stronger, and faster become women that men who identify as women have the chance to become champions. It's never women who become men. That's because biology is real. I need to just start wearing and selling shirts that say, biology is real, outkick. Think about where we are. The party of science, Democrats overwhelmingly refuses to acknowledge that men and women should not be able to compete against each other because if they did, men would be far better. So ESPN and Good Morning America do an interview with Leah Thomas that has virtually zero hard-hitting questions, virtually zero analysis. It's not a surprise that she chose that as the place that she would go talk to. 